Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we are going to discuss problem from the port forces. Uh, so this problem was asked in uh, port forces round 707 division 2. So the problem statement uh, title is Napoleon kick. So I will skip the first paragraph, it is uh, not required as a part of solving this problem. So it is kind of uh, extra description. So basically uh, what is given is uh, we are given n layers okay, which we have to uh, keep as a base. Okay, So we have to form a cake and we have to keep the uh, n bases uh, on top of each other kind of stack kind of thing. Okay, And another thing is uh, like uh, like we can pour a amount of cream okay so uh, like if we place two uh, bases after that or layers we can pour a cream a amount of cream or if we put 10 bases after that we can pour a amount of cream so that can uh, depends like when like based on the ith uh, value we can pour the a amount of cream okay and when you pour the a amount of cream so based on its quantity it fills the uh, those many layers so i will take an example um, that can give us the more clear idea so looking at the input constraint so there are t number of test cases in between 1 to 20000 then there is a uh, n in, as an input number of uh, integers so it ranges to between 1 to 2 to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 and uh, uh, so there are n number of uh, uh, like pouring so it can be like a1 a2 up to a n okay so and as a part of output what we have to do we have to display a single line of output for n integers like uh, if layer is covered by ai amount of cream then we mark it as a one if uh, layer cannot be covered uh, by the cream then we have to display the zero so let us have an example uh, which can give us the more clear idea so this first this diagram is uh, referring to the first test case so here like total number of uh, layers are six and these are the cream values zero three zero zero one and three okay so uh, this is a stack operation so we have to start from the reverse ordering here so first of all let us consider like you are piling up all the six layer one two three four five so this is we will go in the reverse direction uh, that is the intuition to solve this problem so uh, these are the six layers you can see here so initially i will pick up the sorry i will pick up this cream value three so if I pour the cream value 3 so I can see like the like top 3 layers are covered by the cream okay so that's why I print 1 1 1 uh, from the end value that is because the top 3 layers are covered so uh, uh, I will come to the logical part so right now uh, then uh, if I come uh, like this 3 is done so with the help of this 3 I can uh, cover these 3 layers then I can directly switch to this layer because these two layers are already covered by 1 1 because of this value now here it is 0 so that is the layer number like 0 into 3 third layer so here uh, yeah so uh, okay let, let us uh, consider this one as well so uh, one means the layer can itself cover the with the cream so you can consider this thing but this is already covered in this so we don't need to worry about it whether we consider this value because this is already greater value than this one okay so that way like uh, even uh, this is zero the fourth index is zero but it is already covered by uh, this three value so like whether it is zero but still it is already covered so we can skip that part so that's why i said like we can directly jump to this index that is the third index i'm considering uh, one base index value not a zero so here it is zero so that's why my layer uh, third is zero it is not uh, occupied by cream moving back to the second index so it is 3 so I know like what with this 3 I can uh, cover the bottom two layers so this layer is covered this layer is covered so that's why like I will print 1 1 okay 
and uh, let's keep the uh, the first index value zero because it is already covered by the like i plus one th value okay so that's why my output is for this three like these three layers are covered by one 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 this zero remains as it is and for this three it covers the two and one uh, extra uh, cream value is skip just a minute so uh, like uh, one uh, unit of uh, cream is uh, wasted uh, because this value is 3 and we just use the 2 but that's fine that is not uh, we don't need to consider that thing so that's the uh, that's the problem statement and uh, this is the output we need to achieve so basically now coming to the solutioning part what we can see here is uh, we have the basic intuition is we have to start from the reverse order okay and what we have to do is we have to uh, mark the this uh, check the last index value and we have to keep it uh, pouring uh, the uh, previous layers that is i minus 1 i i i minus 1 i minus 2 i minus so uh, we have to go in the reverse direction okay so uh, so first of all with this three i will pour this so this value becomes two then i will pour this two sorry this one so this will be one then again less three minus two it will be one so with the help of this one i can pour this one okay now uh, meanwhile i will check like whether uh, this current value is greater than or equal to this uh, exist uh, greater than uh, this value if it is then i don't need to update but if it is a greater than or equal to then that time i have to update it okay uh, the current value so that way uh, we can traverse in the reverse direction and that way we can fill let us take a look at the code uh, so that can give us more better idea so here i have created a, a class napoleon k and in this main function i am accepting the number of test cases and for each test case i accept the n value then the cream value uh, that is a array uh, a of uh, n size uh, then first of all i am considering the variable c here considering the variable c here and in that i am just marking the n minus 1 uh, cream value and after that like i have created a string builder because uh, i have to perform the reverse operation uh, that's why i have created the string builder instead of stack now uh, to iterate through the uh, like all the cream values in the reverse direction first of all i check whether the current cream value is greater than or equal to my uh, current value that is a c so here like 3 is greater than or equal to 3 so that's why like I, I can update it anyhow whenever it is greater than or equal to I have to update the current value okay I will tell you like why it is a not greater only and why it is greater than or yeah, greater than or greater than and equal to n is used okay so after that I check like if my c is not 0 and my current value is greater than the ai value okay so if it is the case i have to append the one and same time i have to decrement the counter so this three becomes like three first i print the one and three becomes two okay now next iteration again like uh, for the n minus one that is the six minus four uh, uh, so fourth iteration so again like uh, here it is a one and the c value is two so here like this i don't need to update my c value because it is already greater than uh, the ai value that is a one okay so here c is of course like 2 is greater than 0 and 2 is greater than 1 so again i have print the 1 and decrement the counter now the c value becomes 1 then again for the next iteration here the c value is 0 okay the c value is 0 so for c value is 0 uh, i check like uh, like ai is uh, uh, sorry uh, the ith value is 0 so ith value is 0 greater than or equal to 1 false so i don't need to update the c now uh, i will move that uh, and one is greater than zero and one is greater than or equal to zero so i will just print again one and decrement the counter by one so now c becomes zero here so like this is also printed like the three um, like ending elements are printed as a one 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 now my c is zero and index is at this position so here i check like if my c uh, like a of i is zero is greater than or equal to because 
I have to update it because if I just keep the like equal to sign, then zero is greater than equal to zero greater than zero doesn't uh, make any sense, and it will give me the uh, like incorrect uh, uh, value for like uh, further corner cases. I would say. Uh, so that's why like I have used the e greater than equal to sign now uh, I, like C will become 0 so this condition gets fall and I will print like append 0 because it goes inside the else condition so that's why like for the for the third layer it prints the 0 as it is now moving to the next one so here it comes here it checks like 3 is greater than or equal to 0 yes so update the C value so again like it will go inside this decrement the counter by 1 so C becomes 2 and for the uh, 0th base in, like for the first value uh, again it will check like 2 greater than 0 yes so print the 1 and decrement the count by 1 so that's why uh, uh, loop like n this uh, uh, linear loop uh, n value loop will be exhausted index will reach to minus one and that way we will go out of this for condition or sorry for loop and finally we will just print the string builder in the reverse order and we will trim the like this extra spacings from the uh, initial value uh, from the uh, left side or start or end so that is the solution for this problem so basically what we have to do is uh, I can quickly repeat the intuition is we have to start from the end and we have to update the C value based on the uh, like based on the AI value because uh, there can be cases like uh, for example uh, if I consider this thing like if my uh, here like this two times it is filled but consider like it is uh, giving me for example if uh, sometimes what happens like uh, C value is 2 and consider this AI value is greater than or that. <coughs> fine so my c should be updated as per the ai value because uh, like even like if both are same then also like in that case also uh, i should update my c because uh, uh, considering this example uh, for example like if i have something like uh, one uh, one two two okay uh, so this way if it is so what would happen uh, here like uh, just a minute I can take like this one yeah so here what will happen uh, it I start from the left so here it will print the okay so zero 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 so for first like for this two it will print the one value here now two becomes one so for this uh, okay, I will keep it like this okay so here like uh, for uh, this two uh, if I don't consider this two and if I just consider this one so I can update this one only so it will fail it won't update this layer so that's why like this is uh, required uh, it would be better like this so that's the idea for this problem so i will be posting this solution on the github so you can refer that solution uh, if it is required thanks for watching and i will be posting uh, videos next videos very soon thanks